Welcome back and thanks for tuning in. For those who've been following along the channel, my most recent project has been to put together a screw caddy, that which you see there in the background. It has 16 individual compartments and therefore it needs 16 drawers. And I decided to make them out of acrylic because, well, first off, it's transparent, which makes it easy to see uh, which screw is in which compartment. And the other thing is, uh, compared to wood, it is much simpler to uh, glue together, or actually weld together. It doesn't require any clamping, it goes together relatively quickly, and like I said, it has uh, a bunch of advantages compared to wood that way. The disadvantage, and one of the things I really don't care for when I do this, is you have to peel off all the protective coating, which you have to do after, of course, it's been sawn. You don't want to you know, have it scratch or anything. So this is basically the earliest point you can do that. It's even more annoying when you are putting together something with a lot of small pieces because you have to try and get it off the tiny little pieces. Uh, this is not so bad. Now, the reason why I am including this here now as a separate video instead of <laughs> instead of uh, including it with, I'm hoping, the final video for th this build is I am only going to do four of these and it takes 15 minutes to do four. And if I include that footage in the final video, it just ended up being really long or I'd have to make an entire another one. So I decided what to do here is just show you this weld up part. And then on Sunday, I wish I hope to put up the final uh, bit for this. I am going to, well, basically just have uh, how to cut all these and a few tips on that. And then of course, inserting them and all that's left to do is uh, put in the sliding a door that's going to go on this and then that's basically it besides some finishing so hopefully between this video and that video uh, this project will get completely done so i am going to uh, weld these together with this chemical this is called methylene chloride and i keep it in a ground stoppered bottle because if i didn't uh, it would evaporate in a very short order it has a very high vapor pressure and uh it's like i said it's the least odorous way of doing this uh, you can use weld on if you like i don't like the smell of it and i mean both chemicals are toxic definitely do it in high ventilation and uh, well just don't go breathing this stuff in so i use a syringe um now you can if well basically if you buy this stuff uh commercially you'll end up with a little bottle with a applicator they call it I don't like them uh, you can't regulate the flow very well and it's like I said this is much simpler and you can see that's how fast that takes now what I'm gonna do is I am going to assembly line this because uh, when you when you push these uh, the syringe down you don't always get the exact amount so there could be a little bit of extra and uh, if I turn that over at this point uh, it could run and then of course you end up with a white smear on uh, the acrylic and I want to keep these as clear as possible and also it just makes it much faster this way. Like I said, it only takes 15 minutes to do all these. And by the time I'm done, the drawers are fully cured. Uh, they don't need to be clamped. They don't need to be taped. They don't need to be anything. They're just finished. That's all there is to it. There you go. That's the first weld. And then I'm going to do uh, the others. Now, obviously my hand is in the way at this point because <laughs> I'm trying to do this uh, as quickly and efficiently as possible. Uh, I've time uh, sped this up by twofold so you get to still see some of the detail leave a comment below if you would like to see um, a close-up of this like what I'll do is I will I'm only gonna do half of these today anyway I'm gonna save the rest for later on and if you want to see more detail like me doing the actual individual welds like I said, leave a comment and I will put together uh, that. And if I can find room in the final video for this, I'll do it. And if not, I will do a separate quick video to show you exactly how to do uh, the welding process for acrylic. And it's very simple. Unfortunately, so because I'm doing so many of these right now, I didn't want to uh, do that as well because I'm already halfway through this video and I still have a lot more to go. So like I said, this is the quickest way of making uh, drawers. Now, if you remember from a few videos ago, it's actually been a little while now, I suppose, I put together a couple of uh, drawer organizers, which is basically just something to slide into a drawer and you can put bits and pieces. I made one out of wood and I made one of acrylic. In that particular case, uh, the acrylic is not, you know, 
much better than uh, doing the wood one in the sense of, you know, is it tough or is it lasting? Because they're both perfectly fine. They're both doing really well that way. Uh, but in this particular case, the uh, acrylic is much better because, you know, you can see through the front of it and you know what you're looking at. Now, the other one didn't really matter. I like the acrylic a bit better because, again, it is much simpler to put together. And the other uh, reason is uh, I can look down through the drawer organizer because it's not that full of stuff. And I can see what's below and, uh, and I can pick up what I need. There you go, getting there. So you notice that there's a uh, basically a finger hole for pulling these out. I decided not to go obviously with a um, like a drawer pull kind of concept because there's going to be a sliding uh, door that's going to go down uh, the front of this to keep them uh, first off protected and uh, secondly <coughs> ensure that the nothing falls out when I'm moving it around because this is meant to be portable. I'm going to be taking this to job sites and mostly I'll probably tossed in my vehicle and left there but uh, every now and then if I can't figure out which screw to use I can bring it in and I don't if during all that moving around I don't want like a drawer to fall out and then of course it'll be well first off it'll probably crack on the ground and then of course if it didn't do that even I'd still have to go pick up a whole pile of screws so there you go this is the final piece going on and you notice what I'm doing is uh, all the way through this allowing each bead to evaporate so that I don't get any running. So there you go. That's, like I said, this is pretty much done. And on Sunday, I am going to uh, show you a close-up of this if you're interested. Uh, definitely leave a comment for that. And the other thing is I am going to uh, finish up that build finally. I'm going to do a bit of sanding, obviously, but that will be off camera. Uh, again, if you actually want to see some of that, just let me know. I don't mind putting a bit of it on there just to show you some of the details for how I do that. But for the most part, it is it is always the same. So, so anyway, there you go. Almost done, and I'm going to test fit these, of course. Uh, probably should have done that a little sooner than welding up four of them, uh, but I was pretty confident they are going to fit, and they did, so there you go. I'm not going to show you that here. I will definitely do that for Sunday. Uh, but yeah, they slide in, and they do, uh, do the job they're meant to do. Now, for small screws, I may do some subdividing of this, or I might put little inserts in here as well. I haven't decided yet. We'll see uh, when I start filling this all up, which is, again, something I'm going to do uh, once this is in, well, in operation. So, again, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video, and bye for now.